Okay, so in the last video, I talked about the problem of heteroscedasticity, that is the variance of our OLS residuals is not uh, constant. And uh, we saw that in the presence of heteroscedasticity, the usual F test and T tests are not valid. So in the presence of heteroscedasticity, we cannot make statistical inferences both using T test and uh, the F test. However, it is possible to correct the uh, standard errors of uh, OLS and get what we call robust uh, standard errors. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to get heteroscedasticity robust t-test and in the next video, I will talk about how to get the uh, heteroscedasticity robust f-test. So here's an example. In this example, I'm I'm using the same problem that we saw in 7.6. So go ahead and uh, watch that video if you want to know about this problem. Okay, so here I'm regressing log wages on different marital status. Married male, married female, single female, and our base category here is single men. I'm going to regress this model and then we are going to look at uh, these standard errors from the usual OLS that we get from the regression model and then we're going to compare it with the heteroscedasticity corrected uh, or robust uh, standard errors. To get the robust standard errors we need uh, two libraries LM test library and car library. So go ahead and install these libraries if you have not installed uh, these libraries previously. So let's look at uh, the usual standard errors and uh, Next, I'm going to correct for heteroscedasticity of uh, these standard errors. And the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to go into my variance covariance matrix. And uh, the diagonal elements of that variance covariance matrix, that is the variance of uh, these residuals. What uh, homoscedasticity tells us is that all those diagonal elements are constant. But in the presence of uh, heteroscedasticity, those uh, diagonal elements are not constant. Thus, we need to correct for this heteroscedasticity. And the way I'm going to correct this heteroscedasticity is I'm going to make my variance covariance matrix as heteroscedasticity corrected covariance matrix. So I'm going to correct this. The usual math and this matrix is beyond the scope of this course. But essentially, the goal here is that the errors that we will get will be robust to the presence of heteroscedasticity. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to apply the coef test function on uh, our saved regression and then I'm going to go into my variance covariance matrix and I'm going to make it corrected for heteroscedasticity or get heteroscedasticity robust standard errors. The first argument that will go into this heteroscedasticity corrected uh, covariance matrix is our regression equation and uh, we are going to use classic white correction method to correct for uh, heteroscedasticity here. There are a bunch of other types that you can look here but we are using classic white correction here. So let's go ahead and uh, regress this model. Okay so here are both of uh, these standard errors side by side. The first thing to note here is that both these standard errors are not very different uh, whether they are corrected for heteroscedasticity or not. So this is like particular to our example here, but uh, you may get like very, very different results across these two types of standard errors. The largest uh, uh, standard error difference is uh, in the coefficient value of education where the value is 0.0067 in the case of usual errors and it is 0.007 in the case of robust uh, standard errors. So the robust standard error of this coefficient is larger in the case of uh, education as compared with the usual standard error. But we cannot tell beforehand whether these robust standard errors will be larger than the usual standard errors or smaller than the usual standard errors. If we look at the standard error of experience here, the usual standard error is 0.0052, but the robust standard error is 
0.0051. So in this case, the robust standard error is smaller than the usual standard error. So again, we cannot tell beforehand whether the robust standard errors will be smaller than the usual errors or larger than the usual errors. But in most of the cases, the robust standard errors are larger than the usual standard errors. And this is what I have found in my own research that most of the times robust standard errors are larger than the usual standard errors. So this is how you correct heteroscedasticity in your OLS standard errors. In the next video, I'm going to talk about heteroscedasticity robust F-test because we know that both F-test and T-test are invalid in the presence of uh, heteroscedasticity. So we're going to look at an example and we're going to talk about how to get robust uh, F-test in the presence of uh, heteroscedasticity. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.